Hello guys, it's me, Bloku Satsu, and today we are going to review the Tomasi Nation S.A. Figure Arts Kamen Rider Jin Burning Falcon. Now, this is spoiler proof for spoiler to people who have not watched Zero One. I recommend you go watch Zero One. It's a it's a great it, it is a it, it's a good season in my opinion. But it's it's in my honorable mention. I freaking love Zero One. But this form is Jin's second form in the whole entire show. Maybe the main reason why I say second cut actually his second. First is Flying Falcon. This is Burning Falcon. But I'm happy that I didn't buy Flying Falcon. So okay for that. So let's go on to accessory law. So let's go on top of uh, the colors. I freaking love this red. The red is so clean. The red and black, a good color combination. Uh, he actually, he actually does look like a falcon. But the visor as well. Oh man, Tomasi did so good with this guy. So let's go on to, well, I didn't even know what, to articulation on that. So here's how far he goes with his ab crunch. You hear? Yeah, uh, yeah, you hear that? You hear that? You gotta be careful with him. Here's how far he goes due to having these on here. Again, Dan Cross has the exact same thing, so. Yeah. Here's how far, here's how far he can do his legs. <laughs> you can do a lighter kick with him if you want to. See? Just gotta be careful not to spread the legs a lot so he doesn't uh, break. Cause that happened to my first copy of Zero One, and yeah, it's good that I bought a new copy. <sighs> yep, you just. Yeah, this is how far his legs go. I don't like that squeaking. I gotta be careful. That squeaking, that, that squeaking. See, hear this. Yeah, that is annoying. Not gonna lie. You just gotta be careful of how you take care of him. Make sure, make sure you don't go beyond your limit and try to break him because this figure is one of the kind. And also, he caught like. It cost like three hundred dollars. <laughs> Frank asked me, wait, Frank asked me, wait, hold on, where do you, where do you, where do you bought your from? Well, okay, uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, it's on my leg. <coughs> I bought mine from Mandarake, from Mandarake. <laughs> so this that as well. So let's go on to accessories. I love accessories. So, before we go to the wings, let's talk about let's talk about his hands. Here we go. We have we have two holding hands. We have, he can hold his uh slash riser right there. So there's that. Also. Also, you can put also you can put a Vulcan blaster. If you have the SHF Vulcan, you can put his gun onto these hands as well. Just saying. Same for Herobi's weapon and Valkyrie's uh, shot riser, zero one sword. Yeah. And here are his fisted hands. You can do like if you want to punch someone in the face. Punch someone in the face. And here are his wings, which, right, I'm gonna do this. Ow. Yeah, gotta be careful, because these are really sharp.
Oh man, that looks so beautiful. Now let's talk about the wings. <clears throat> the wings are the wings are beautiful, yes, but they are sharp. You gotta be careful. Uh, sorry. The wings are uh, sharp, and you gotta be careful how you pose them with these on, cause these can actually stab you, and make you bleed, and you don't want that. <laughs> Also, I thought about the slash riser for a second. You see this? Yeah, that's that. I'm, uh, I can't take it out. <laughs> also, yeah, there's no uh, sticker. There's no sticker. There's no sticker inside here. Luckily, SHF upgrade. Um, if you if you want to get the SHF, SHF upgrade sticker kit, I highly recommend it, so you can have the stickers on there. But since stickers are annoying for me, I think I I think I'm good with them without them. So let's talk about his slash riser, the blade version, which I which I actually do like on here. Not gonna lie. It looks way beautiful on here. I'm just, I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying. Look, this, this actually looks really cool as a blade. Not gonna lie. So this that looks so beautiful as well. So 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 much accuracy from the show. So now we're done with that. Let's go on to size comparison. So just because just because zero one here is zero one. And here is a uh, Vulcan. This, yeah, he scales pretty well. Both of them, <laughs> way more low. Let's do, let's add some hay saying in here. Here he is with uh, Decayed. Here he is with Prime Rogue. Yeah, he scales, he uh, scales pretty well with both of them as well. I have some other SHF as well. Here he is with uh, Best Boy, don't at me. Here he is with Evolt. <laughs> yeah, he scales pretty well with both of them as well. Okay, first of all, these two are best boys. Don't at me. And also, here he is with the Lightning Collection. Diamond on the White Ranger. Or, he's like Super Santa like me. Here he is with uh, Abba Killer. Yeah, he scans. Scans, fuck. <laughs> He scales pretty well with all, with all of them. Again, then, Abba Killer is a little bit more taller. Because, well, don't know why, but American figures, American figures are way taller than Japanese figures. I don't know why, but that's how it is. So, overall, yeah. Jin is a beautiful figure. If you like Kamen Rider, I recommend picking him up. But, if you're not a big fan of Kamen Rider, then, okay, that's fair. If you like zero one, if you want to be a completionist, yeah, <laughs> I recommend you pick this guy up because he is pretty limited. And also, I want to say that he's P Bandai, so there's that as well. So, yeah, guys, my name is Broken Satsu. I'll put, I'll put the link on all my social media in the description. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe. Have a good day. Ciao.